If you're considering making the switch, I'm gonna tell you 10 reasons why Streamlabs OBS is better than OBS, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so I partnered up with Streamlabs OBS to make this video because it's important that you should know it's time to make the switch. So I'm gonna tell you 10 obvious reasons that going with Streamlabs OBS is way better than the old school OBS. Number one on the list is Streamlabs Auto Setup. They have a wizard that takes you through the process of setting everything up because if you've used OBS in the past or you are thinking of using OBS, it's a cumbersome process. And if you are just getting into live streaming and you're just getting into using encoding software, there are some things that you might not even know what they mean. So it's really important to use a wizard like this to get some nice default settings for you to make sure that your stream is gonna come through okay. To come to the conclusion for the best setup for you, they're looking at what platform you're connected to, they're looking at your computer speed, they're looking at your internet speed, all of it, so that you can make sure that you're pushing through the best quality stream possible in OBS just doesn't offer that. And as a bonus in part of that setup process, they even walk you through setting up some of the additional features that I'm gonna be talking about on this list that OBS also doesn't have. Number two, they have a lower CPU usage. Basically, if you are in Streamlabs OBS and you go to the live tab, then it shrinks down everything and organizes everything. So all of your alerts and everything are right there in front of you, but it's less taxing on your computer, which is an even bigger bonus and OBS just doesn't have it. Number three is themes. Look, if you want a cool looking live stream, it's important that you have the right graphics and all that stuff to support your live stream. Inside of Streamlabs OBS, they give you free themes that you can use on any of your live streams. Next up, number four is the Streamlabs widgets. Now look, inside of OBS, you have to go through all of these processes in order to get anything to work. And what widgets are, just in case you don't know, are having things come up on your screen. For example, if you wanted to have chat coming up over on the side of your screen, you would use a widget for that instead of having to hard code it into OBS. Inside of Streamlabs OBS, you just click the items that you're wanting to add to your stream and it's gonna pull them in there for you where you don't have to go through this cumbersome process of setting everything up. Another one is the notifications where if somebody subscribes to your channel, they give you a tip or anything like that, then a notice pops up on your screen to give that person some recognition and that also brings it to your attention to where you can say, hey, whatever your name is, thank you for subscribing or thank you for the donation. Big plus for community engagement and big plus for ease of use. Number five is cloud backups. Look, you're not getting cloud backups with OBS. Streamlabs OBS has you covered. So what cloud backups are is let's say that you have your stream set up at your place. You got everything perfect exactly how you want it and you go to a friend's house, but you don't take your computer. All you have to do once you're at your friend's house is log into your Streamlabs OBS account and it's gonna pull everything down from the cloud, all your graphics and everything, and it's gonna be just like you're streaming from home, but you're gonna be at a friend's house. So you don't have to rebuild stuff all the time, which is amazing. And this is also great if your computer crashes, your computer dies, or if one of your family members or somebody accidentally removes your software, no problem, it's all in the cloud, they've got you covered. Another thing that is unique to Streamlabs is the affiliate program. If you recommend somebody OBS, and they go install OBS, then you know, you're not gonna get anything for that. But if you recommend Streamlabs to somebody and they go and they install it and then they get some of the pro features, guess what? Guess who's gonna make some money for it? You are. That's who. And speaking of making money, you like making money, right? Next up on the list is their merch store. So if you have merchandise that you wanna sell, t-shirts and stuff, you can do that through Streamlabs as well. And OBS just Sorry, OBS, but the option just isn't there. Another thing that makes a huge difference in the two is they have a dashboard with a bunch of stuff built into it. So you have direct access to your widgets, you have direct access to your merch store, you have direct access to all of your settings inside of Streamlabs and stuff for the actual software itself. And in that same area, you can also see recent activity in terms of people that have subscribed to you and things like that as well. It's awesome. And OBS just doesn't have it. Next up, is support and community. This one, in my opinion, this alone is worth the switch and I'll tell you why. If you have a problem with OBS, you have to hop into the forums and you gotta get all this feedback from people that may or may not know what they're talking about. But with Streamlabs OBS, you have the people that are actually working on the software that you can reach out to that can solve your problems or help you solve your problems to where you're not just taking advice from people that don't really know what they're talking about, or maybe they do 
but you are not running that risk. And that is because it's supported by these folks. And another really cool feature, if you are going to be making the switch, if you're saying, hey, Nick, all of this stuff sounds great. I think I'm gonna be making the switch over to Streamlabs OBS. Another really awesome feature is they have integration, which basically means that all of the stuff that you have set up inside of OBS, when you're setting up Streamlabs OBS and you're going through that wizard that we were talking about before to help you set everything up, they're actually gonna pull in your settings from OBS so that you don't have to reset up up everything that you've already set up for your OBS. Really, it's a no-brainer. I've got a link to Streamlabs OBS down in the description below where you can head over and try it out for yourself. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.